Baking soda and vinegar are everyday products that we have in our households, right? Well, today our Candace Monticelli, she's combining them to help us learn about greenhouse gases. Ooh, excited to see this. She joins us live with how it's done with an exploding lunch bag. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Doesn't that sound fun? An exploding lunch bag. That's what we're going to create today to learn about those greenhouse gases. So let's get started. Here's a list of what you need for today's experiment. First, a sandwich bag, then baking soda, vinegar, warm water, measuring cups and spoons, and a tissue. So first you want to go outside or go to the kitchen sink. I didn't have either option, so I just brought a big bowl right to me. Then take your sandwich bag. You want to do one fourth cup of warm water right in the bag. I've already pre-measured this out. And then a half a cup of vinegar. Now you want to take your baking soda and put three teaspoons right inside the center of a napkin and then fold up that napkin. This is just making it a lot easier to uh, quickly put this in with the vinegar and water. So what you want to do is zip up this sandwich bag about three fourths of the way, just so you have a little space at one end to throw in your baking soda and a tissue and then close it real, real quick. That step you want to do real fast, shake it around a bit. And now we watch and wait if you can hear it. You can hear it sizzling. You probably won't be able to hear it, but you can hear it sizzling and you can see that bag expanding. So we'll watch and uh, wait what happens. Let's wait and see what happens if it pops or oh, there it goes. So it definitely, it pops. There is your exploding lunch bag. And this is what's happening. The chemical reaction within the bag between the vinegar, which is our acid, and the baking soda or the sodium bicarbonate. That is your base. Combining those two together, you're releasing a gas, CO2. And that CO2, it's expanding that bag. And the bag only has so much capacity to hold that CO2 until it pops. We heard it pop just then. So CO2, carbon dioxide. That's actually a greenhouse gas. And they're natural and harmless in small amounts. Greenhouse gases are actually really important to our environment. Greenhouse gases are what keep and trap the heat in at the surface. And if we didn't have greenhouse gases, our heat that we receive from the sun would automatically get released and escape back into space. So we wanna be nearly as warm as we are without greenhouse gases. But then on the other hand, in large amounts, greenhouse gases aren't great. I am sure we've all heard of CO2 emissions with global warming concerns. Because if we get too much CO2, it warms us up and then can change our climate. So it uh, could go either way if it's uh, harmful or not harmful, just depending on the amount that we have. But CO2 could be seen as one of the most important greenhouse gases because plants use it during their photosynthesis process. And us humans and animals have, uh, use plants as a food source. So it could be seen as a vital part of our survival, but a pretty cool way to see this with an exploding lunch bag. So try this at home, send me your pictures on Facebook, and there's a full list of instructions on fox17online.com. Pretty cool to hear that pop.